first part of the agenda presents immediate measures to prevent human tragedies and to reinforce mechanisms to deal with emergencies. This is a toolbox designed to respond to the immediate challenges of the Mediterranean, but also a blueprint for any future crises wherever it may emerge on our common border. We're increasing the funding and resources for Triton, helping to manage our borders and to save lives. We're taking measures to combat the cruel and opportunistic people smugglers by disrupting their business model. And we are proposing hotspot teams to give support on the ground to member states where the pressure is worst to help identify, register and fingerprint incoming migrants. Yes, these are challenging proposals. Yes, they will prompt debate and attract criticism. But it's not acceptable for people around the EU to say, yes, stop people dying in the Mediterranean, and at the same time remain silent when the question is raised, what should happen to these people once they were saved in the Mediterranean? Thank you. Uh, first of all, let me thank uh, we decided uh, to reinforce the European Union civilian mission UCAP Sahel, Niger. Uh, we will have uh, an increase of presence of European, uh, European presence, including in Agadez, a major trafficking hub uh, on the road to Libya, to assist in the best possible way the Nigerian authorities to tackle an issue that uh, uh, is getting dramatic once the people move from Niger to Libya working before people are brought to Libya is a way of tackling the issue in a smart way. We have increased even more our level of engagement with all different Libyan parties in these days to make sure that we can work with each of them to uh, fight the trafficking and the smuggling of human beings on the Libyan territories. We are looking to partnership with the Libyans in this respect. And obviously, we are working in close, say daily, coordination uh, with Bernardino Leon and with the UN-led dialogue process uh, that we are assisting in all possible ways. Third element of the external uh, action we're taking in response, in immediate response to the tragedies we see at sea uh, is, as you know, the deployment of a CSDP naval operation that will be different but complementary to Triton and Poseidon that, as you know, have a different mandate. The mandate of uh, this new operation will be to disrupt the business model of the trafficking and smuggling organizations. We will support transit countries such as Jordan, Turkey, which are bearing the brunt of displayed refugees or Niger to dry up the source for migrant smugglers' networks in Libya. To fight smuggling, we will adopt measures to step up the prevention of their criminal activities, to disrupt them, to bring the perpetrators to justice, and to seize their assets. We will strengthen Frontex so that migrants we have no right to stay on European soil, will be repatriated. We need to be firm. On the other hand, to enforce solidarity, we are mobilizing an additional 60 million euros in emergency funding to support frontline member states. We want to bring safely and legally to the European Union, 20,000 refugees from third countries, and we will finance this action with 50 million euros. For implementing relocation and uh, resettlement, we have developed a distribution key based on objective, quantifiable, and verifiable criteria. These criteria are the size of the population, the total GDP, 
the number of asylum applications and persons already resettled, and the unemployment rate. Given the importance and the urgency of the situation, the Commission will already adopt by the end of May a recommendation for a resettlement scheme, a legislative proposal to trigger an emergency relocation mechanism within the European Union, guidance on fingerprinting, an action plan on smuggling, and will provide information on new trite on operational plans.